Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, after a summer like day today, we have another nice one on the way for Friday, with the exception of some scattered showers and storms for the second half of the day. But we'll time that out in just a second. Let's take a look outside here in Newport Harbor. Things looking fine. We're quiet. Skies will remain dry and temperatures will be in the 60s. It's a touch humid as well, and that'll be the theme overnight into tomorrow. So that muggy feel continues out here in Providence and right into your Friday morning. So uh, good news is that we're not tracking any you know, showers or storms during the overnight hours. Here are those temperatures again, 60s in Newport, 64 there, 60 66 in New Bedford, 70 over in Taunton and 68 in the capital city. So radar is quiet, not tracking showers and storms, but that'll change as we go into later on tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. My three key things again, staying quiet overnight, tracking those showers for the end of the work week. The good news is it all clears out in time for the weekend for both Saturday and Sunday looking just fine. Satellite and radar high pressure and control keeping us nice and dry. Our next weather system is this cold front off to the west across the Great Lakes. This is all tracking eastward. It'll arrive for later on tomorrow. Also watching a system offshore not expected to really impact us, but this system has the attention of the Hurricane Center. They're looking at potentially naming this as Alberta. We'll be seeing over the next couple of days if that storm gets a name, but right now it's just a you know plain old low pressure that's off the Carolina coastline. Out by our forecast, we can time things out overnight. Clear skies, temperatures in the 60s, and staying nice and quiet overnight and into tomorrow morning. That morning commute, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. Things looking fine as well. And notice the clouds do build in slowly through the day, but we'll still see you know sunshine during the morning hours. Here's 11 a.m. A few areas of clouds from time to time. Partly sunny skies in the morning. Then looking at a you know potential stray shower during the early afternoon hours. This is not the main line that we're tracking. The main line doesn't really arrive until later on in the evening. Here's 7 p.m. Notice all the yellows and orange is covering parts of Connecticut, Massachusetts. And as this line pushes eastward, it does want to weaken as it approaches the uh, south shore here across our region. So notice again this weakening line tracking eastward. So the best chance of seeing severe weather from this line of storms is further west. The best chance is in this yellow area, this level two across western Mass, western Connecticut. We're in a level one, so there's still a chance that we could see you know a strong to severe storm. But the best chance is to the west of us as that front arrives just later on in the evening. Kind of misses the daytime heating, the warmest part of the day across our area. So Friday morning, looking at partly sunny skies again, temperatures warming up nicely, really quickly too, near 80 degrees by 11 a.m. As we go into the afternoon, looking OK for the early afternoon hours. But notice the precip chances do increase about 30 percent during the early afternoon. Best chance, though, is p.m. commute and uh, the dinner time frame for any uh, showers and storms. Bay forecast for Friday. Watch out for that shower activity later in the day. But otherwise, gusty winds, breezy as well. Southwest about 10 to 15 knots, gusting as high as about 25 knots. So Again, looking at a breezy day on Friday with that muggy, humid feel and a partly sunny skies for a good part of the day. Seven day forecast. Pollen count remains medium to high, by the way, through the weekend. Looking at early clouds Saturday, giving way to sunshine. Nice weather both days, though, overall. Better weather and even more of a summer like feel as we go into next week. Looking at Wednesday and Thursday, temperatures low 90s away from the coastline. And we could be seeing our first real taste of summer here coming our way for next week. That rain's going to impact the evening commute. Tomorrow evening, yes, showers and storms during the evening commute, even into the nighttime as well. All right, Stephen, thanks. Coming up next, stay in sports. This